Well, good morning, fellow constitutionalists, and these are my morning thoughts for Friday, September 4th, the year of our Lord, 2015. It is finally Friday, and you can see I have my Hawaiian shirt on, so if you don't have your Hawaiian shirt on, you're wrong. Uh, just kidding, folks, just kidding. This has been in the news and on my mind all day, and we're going to talk about this a little bit today, about the, the violence that's going on in America, uh, whether it be the 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 hate group Black Lives Matter or the police with some of their brutalities. And I'm not saying everybody in the Black Lives Matter movement are terroristic in their actions. Some of them just want to bring this uh, awareness to folks, and we understand that. I believe all lives matter, not just black lives. I believe all lives matter. But on the other hand, we can't just sweep under the, the carpet some of the brutality that some of our policemen in our country have uh, perpetrated upon the citizens that they're, they're sworn to protect. So there's, there's plenty of fault on both sides. What we need to do is take a step back, and we need to calm down, and we need to start rethinking and relooking at a few things. One of the things I'd love to see is the demilitarization of our police forces. I talked about this on, on the show yesterday a little bit, and I, I'm very serious about this, folks. The police do not need the military hardware that they're, they're getting from the government. They just do not need that. If things get to the point where they need heavy military armament, that's what the National Guard's there for. I believe a police officer is there to investigate crimes and to keep the peace. And I think we've gotten away from that basic premise. Now, may, you know, some people might disagree with me on the role of a policeman, but that's the way I look at it. Investigate crimes and keep the peace. And it's up to the citizens to uphold the laws or not. If we don't, then that's where the police come in and they do the investigation and they arrest us. And then we pay the consequences for our crimes. I want to read something to you here real quick out of the Bible. Uh, it was part of my morning Bible reading this morning. Uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 17. Repay no evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place for wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not overcome, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And folks, we need to get back to being good people. We need to get back to being good citizens of the United States. We need to get back to... Uh, a time before President Barack Obama came to office and all the race baiters uh, that associate with him and get back on the path of, of peace and healing in this country, folks. America was great at one time. We can make it great again. As Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, I don't want to, I don't want to judge a man on the content of, of his character, not on the color of his skin. Folks, we'll see you later on this morning on the show. These are my morning thoughts for Friday. September the 4th. Have a great day, folks, and have a great weekend if you don't catch the show.